This is a, a new tree we put in. It's a new variety we're testing. This is Tiedemann's late uh, apple, late orange apple on M111 rootstock. Notice the yellowing. That's going to be a problem. It's either getting too moist or the trunk itself, uh, this, the mulch should be pulled away from this because we can end up rotting the trunk of the tree causing collar rot. So just get the mulch away a few inches so that that doesn't happen. Notice how loose it is in the soil. Not a good sign. This is a bare root tree and uh, when we move the trunk it's also moving the soil. It's not becoming firmly established in, the, in here. We'll have to watch it really closely. Probably come back through and restake it and see if we can get it to uh, to reestablish or establish itself more firmly in the soil. But this yellowing certainly indicates we have an iron problem. The iron problem could be because of trunk damage. It could be because the tree is susceptible to iron. It could be because we've got uh, some root dieback in the soil and it's not becoming firmly established. Any one of those. There's no fruit on this tree. So we could come back with multiple uh, foliar sprays of iron, spraying the leaves with an iron sulfate even, iron chelate, and uh, probably four or five times to get it to green up a little bit more. Probably add some fertilizer, foliar fertilizer with that as well to get it to respond. Or we could simply put down an iron application in the soil as I showed earlier right under the uh, bubbler. There's the bubbler there, two gallons per minute. Uh, filling the basin. But keep that mulch away from the trunk and that very well could, could be the problem why we're seeing this yellowing on the foliage and causing iron chlorosis. It's not always just simply a matter of a lack of iron. It can be related to other problems as well, interrupting the flow of iron up to the leaves so they don't get enough.